Young freshman from the University of Arkansas, Reuben Reyna, takes the pace out. Jeff Pig from Florida running in second place. Mike Starr from Georgetown actually moves up now and assumes the lead. Well, he's he moving out, he he moved out because uh, the first quarter was 62 seconds. That about is about a 4.08 mile pace. Everyone in this field ran 4.02 in the mile just to get to the final. So this is walking for him. Starr, really the favorite. Now he's going to control the race. He ran a 1.46. 800 meters on the relay, he knows he can out-sprint everyone. He said, I'm going to slow it down until somebody else makes a move. Wilton Reina showing a lot of smarts for a freshman to go out and take the lead right back. Let me add a point here. I'm surprised Reina did not force the pace at the very beginning, though. For the first 400 meters, I don't think he can kick with Star. His only hope is to try and take the kick out of that man. And as you say, 17 runners who had run 4.035 or better qualified to come here. They help me, and only eight here have advanced to the final. The split for 880 yards are relatively slow for these guys, 2047. It's Star, Reyna, up running 1-2. Andy Pettigrew is now moving into second. Sean O'Neill from Villanova hanging around in fourth. O'Neill was able to make some quick moves in the trials. He can change gears quickly. But Mike Starr controlling the race with three laps to go. You won't see Starr let anyone pass him from this point on. All right, it's Starr, Pettigrew, Reyna, John O'Neill being pushed. Behind him, Mark Beattie from the University of Indiana. Illinois State is running right back there now. Daryl Fricker has a good kick to an eye on him. He's running third from last. It's Starr, Pettigrew, Reyna. There goes Mark Beattie from Indiana, a 401 indoor miler this year. The three-quarter mile, they picked up the pace to a 60-second third quarter. Three minutes four at seven tenths of a second. We're going to see a fast finish here, maybe 55 seconds in the last quarter. Well, just watch how relaxed Mike Starr is. He looks like he's jogging. Everybody else is starting to strain a little bit. Someone like Sean O'Neill really has to come flying out now as they've only got 200 yards to go. But Mike Starr has controlled this beautifully. Starr's going to wait. We'll probably see a good last lap out of this man who has possessed his great speed. A Fifth Avenue High School winner in the mile. It's Starr. Beating in second. Pettigrew in third. Sean O'Neill from Villanova is fourth. Daryl Brecker is coming up from Illinois State on the outside. It's Mike Starr's day. This is George's, Georgetown University star. Michael Starr pulling in for his first NCAA championship in the mile. And it's going to be Beatty in second, Pettigrew in third, possibly Frecker in fourth. Sean O'Neill looks like he was fifth. Unofficially, four minutes, one, and 66 one-hundredths of a second as everybody played into the hands of Georgetown junior Mike Starr. When we come back, more exciting action from track and field here at the Myriad in Oklahoma City. World record. Here's the men's mile results. Mike Starr, the official winner at 402.33. Mike Didi was second. Pettigrew took third from Southern Illinois. The Saluki ran 403. 